What's up everybody? Big Laurie again. Second video for this weekend. Uh, but as you can see, it's relating to just British shillings. Uh, so Callum let me know in no uncertain terms that he wasn't particularly interested in <laughs> taking part in this one. Uh, these ones um, all date from 1953, so there's no silver in any of them. But uh, I wanted to uh, just... Uh, let you see, uh, I've picked up the final uh, coin to fill this little uh, uh, folder up, so um, I don't have many folders that are full. <laughs> so I thought, well, we might as well make an occasion of it. Uh, Sunday afternoon here, uh, sun's over the yard arm, so uh, I'm having a bottle of beer. But rather than Dukers, Wild Bill's IPA. American IPA. So, good health to everybody. I'll have a quick taste and let you know how it tastes, uh, what this uh, American beer. Mm, mm, mm. Hats off to Wild Bill and whatever he brews his beer. Anyway, moving on. So I'll have a quick look uh, at these ones. Uh, as I say, um, we kept on making shillings right up until, well, officially 1966 and then in 1970, just before we uh, decimalised the cur currency, there were a final couple of proofs. So here we have them, the top three here, with the legend uh, Brett Omn, uh, somewhere around the, the outside of the, uh, uh, the, the coin, which, uh, if my memory serves me correctly, Britannianum Omnium, which just means of all the people of Britain but they somehow uh, worked out and recognised in 1954 <laughs> the, the Crown realised maybe uh, they don't speak for all the people of these islands uh, so the, I guess they were ahead of themselves <laughs> sadly 60 odd years later we still haven't quite managed to shake off the shackles of this United Kingdom anyway enough of the politics these ones are all in pretty good uh, condition. Obviously, uh, I can always find Scottish shillings, so these are probably the ones that are, I suppose, if you're looking at these, the shiny ones. <laughs> and if we come over to this side, and uh, let's see if we can zoom in a wee bit on these two here. These are the uh, the proof coins. As I say, about three quarters of a million of each of them, done in 1970. These were the very, very last shillings ever made. Uh, although uh, the size of coin valued at the same amount, um, although we didn't uh, officially adopt the, the new decimal currency until 1971, um, the coins were in circulation for a good couple of years before that. So the, the shilling size uh, became the five new pence. Uh, and those were in circulation way, way before 1971. So there was a fairly clean transition and you could pick up uh, and still use these shillings away into the, uh, uh, the the time when we were um, using decimal currency uh, the the two shilling transferred to 10p the one shilling to 5p uh, and so we were able to uh, still use those uh, i think we might have even used sixpences for a while uh, but hey I can barely remember. Anyway, there's one place still remaining to fill, and that's 1962 English. I have no idea why it's taken me so long to get this, uh, on the basis that it wasn't particularly rare. 36 and a half million of them were minted, so I guess it's just finding a decent one to pop in the binder. And uh, there we have it. So let's pick it up. Move this back and pop it into place, shall we? In we go and click. And that's it, completed. Well pleased with myself, even if Callum can't be bothered. You know I love shilling. But that's that one done. Uh, 1953 to date, <laughs> well, to 1970, uh, and uh, as I say, with that, that's a uh, reason for celebration, I suppose. So back to the beer, good health to every single one of you, 
Uh, I'm going to go and enjoy the rest of my Sunday afternoon. Uh, much to my wife's chagrin, there are about 50 games, live football games on TV today, and I'm going to plan and work my way through the rest of them for as long as I can. Have a great week, everybody. Uh, back to work tomorrow. For those of you behind me, enjoy the rest of your weekend. For those of, me, uh, of you ahead of me, bummer. Uh, you're either already in bed or maybe even at work. Um, it will soon be the weekend. Please like, comment and subscribe uh, and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.